Hi, this is Jake. I want to show you a tech support scam that a lot of people get through browser pop-ups. Um, and it's mainly from not being um, careful of which, how you're operating the computer or how you're browsing the internet. So I want to show you how you get it and what it looks like and how you can easily get out of it. All right, so this is a standard Windows 10 PC. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my... Uh, browser, my Chrome browser, and I'm going to show you two websites. This one is ask.com, and uh, if I go to ask.com and I type in, uh, in this example, I'm using login, uh, and you'll see when I do the search, it comes up with some results here. And the way that uh, ask.com works is I see they're not even showing that these are paid sponsorships. Uh, okay, so it's actually, it, it isn't apparent until you scroll down a little bit, then you see web results here. So these are the ones that are actually coming back uh, from the internet as legitimate, you know, probably more likely legitimate websites like this is Google, this is Microsoft Online. But these up here are ads actually, they're paid by asked, um, you know, they're paid by people, you know, companies to put their ads towards the top. And some of these are okay. Um, most of them are, le are legitimate, but the problem is if you click the wrong one, uh, you're going to get in trouble. And I'm going to, now I'll tell you right now, this is a fake one right here. This is a weird domain name. And I don't recognize that. See, like the rest of these are seem to be somewhat legit. Like emailaccessonline.com, emailloginnow.com. But this one, ADJ, I don't even know how to say that. So we're going to go ahead and click on that because I know that one's a fake. Uh, it's a fake one. So I'm going to click on that. And right away, it takes me to some weird URL. Critical alert from Microsoft. We'll listen to Your the computer has alerted alert. us that it is infected with the virus and spyware. This virus is sending your credit card details, Facebook login, and personal emails to hackers remotely. Please call us immediately at the toll-free number listed, so that our support engineers can walk you through the removal process over the phone. If you close this page before calling us, we will be forced to disable your computer, to prevent further damage to our network. Error number 2, 6, 8, D, 3. Critical alert from Microsoft. Your computer okay, so has this alerted us that it is infected with the virus and this, spyware. This, alert. this virus is sending and your credit card I'm not details, even able to Facebook and, uh, login, on the bar and personal here. emails to so hackers remotely. Locked out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close at the this toll -free number listed so I'm that our the support window and get a little artifact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on mute so we don't have to hear that. To put that on mute so we can actually go ahead and take a look at the uh, alert a little bit more in detail. Okay, so what it's uh, what this so this is basically it's a you know it's a big it's a browser window. Okay. So this is the alert saying, oh, no, you're, you know, uh, spyware's been detected. You're, we're going to lock your account or block your Internet or, you know, report you to the FBI or whatever. You know, they, uh, there's all kinds of threats that they engage in. So right now, as long as I don't click on anything, I can actually get out of this pretty easily. So you see, um, I, I have my mouse cursor at the top in the address window, but if I put it down, it disappears. But now if I click on that, I'm kind of messed up. Okay, so it's gonna take over my entire window. Okay, actually it didn't. Here we go. Okay, now it went to full screen mode and you see you get this message, press escape to get out of full screen mode. So I'm gonna go, now if I look at it here, this is a fake Microsoft window in the background uh, and have, has this pop-up support.windows.com. So this is like full screen mode. So it's gone to full screen mode and I can't really interact with anything let's see all right so the way I get out of this I just have to hit escape let's see, I'm gonna hit escape here okay now it restored it to normal mode all right 
Now from here, I can, let's see, let's get out of here. So I hit escape and, oh, look at that. And see, it's really, a, it's really messed me up because it is in, it's kind of taking over everything here. But is that really doing anything? It's just popping up this warning saying that I have to call Microsoft. Oh, is, is this it over here? Here, here we go. Look at, this is this is the actual window here. I'm gonna. Uh, so this is the actual window here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close this window. And it gives me a warning. You want to leave the site? Yeah, heck yeah, I want to leave the site. All right, so I get out of there. Oh, there, there, might, there might be two here. I think that might be the problem. There's two of them. All right, so I hit escape again to get out of that full screen mode. And here I have that tab. This Windows official support is playing that audio. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. Okay, so now it's gone. There's no virus on my computer or anything. I don't have to worry about that. It's just that pesky warning. Now, you see what the problem was. I went to, in this, in this case, I went to ask.com. Uh, but you, this could work on any search engine. Um, Ask just has a lower lower security, I guess you can say. It's got um, they're more willing to allow these ads. Like if I go to Google, if I go to Google.com, and I do the same thing, or you know if I can go to Bing or Yahoo, and I go log in. Okay, so this one actually does have here you go. So this one does have an ad. And you'll see it's clearly designated. This is an ad. And if I click on this, I have a suspicion this one may possibly be. No, this one looks like a legitimate website. Okay, so that one's that one's okay. All right. And if I go to Bing.com and I type in, now it doesn't have to be login. It could be just about any string because what's happening is that the scammers are buying ads on double click or. Google AdWords, and they're you know, hoping to lure you in. So it could be just about anything that you're looking for. You know, it could be, you know, if you're looking for car detailing or something, you know, you could have an ad in there that you may, but what they're trying to, you know, that may, may be harmful. So I went to, I went to Bing. So here's Bing. And so as you notice on Bing, there are no, these are all, um, Natural ads. Okay, here's here's a here's one. It's not necessarily fake, but it it, it says add on here, so you know that it's a, a paid ad. Uh, these you know malicious links are less likely to be in the natural algorithm like these up here. They're more uh, they're going to be these ads that are paid for, and that one doesn't look like it's. I don't think this is anything. I'm going to click on it just to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's another one. Okay, so this is the same thing. Uh, Got to call support because my computer's infected. Uh-oh. Now, if I call that phone number, it's going to be a tech support, you know, quote-unquote tech support hotline. And they're going to say, yep, your computer's infected. You're going to have to pay us $400 or $500 or $600 to get it cleaned up. And all they do is, is remove this. Don't ever call these people. This is just bad news. You know, it's a scam. Don't even bother calling them. And I'm going to go ahead and close this window. Now I'm going to go over to eBay just to show you the eBay kind of, you know, does the same thing. Now, if I go to eBay and I type in login and do a search on login, I'll show you what we get here. I'm going to go to scroll to the bottom because they always put these paid sponsorship ads on the bottom. And so you'll see uh, there's these three uh, email access, access online. That looks quasi-legitimate because it's a uh, it's a legitimate domain. It sounds like somebody uh, may have actually paid for that. Uh, well, they are, they're at, they pay for these domains, but this one uh, looks like it's pro you know since it's a normal-looking domain, it's probably been around for a while. WinZip Drive Updater that might be legitimate, probably is legitimate. But this one, it's kind of funky looking. Uh, but most people look at here. Look, log in my account check. That's what they lo uh, look at. They don't look at the actual domain name. This is definitely suspicious. So I'm going to click on this link and it's going to load. Oh, see, same thing. It's coming onto the site and there you go. This is that, uh, that scammy website. So, um, you know, just be careful. If you're trying to go to a website, um, I'm going to go ahead and close this. My advice on, on, uh, there's a few things you can do to avoid this. Uh, one is, to actually, let's click, uh, close that. Uh, if you're trying to go to a website, Google or Yahoo or 
you know, your bank or what, whatever, type the domain in up here, up in the address bar, Fargo.com. Okay. All right. So if you do that, you're going to go directly to the, your banking website, whatever it is. Okay. Now, if I go to, so normally when you open up your browser, where does it, where does it go to? Like it's, you know, it's usually going to go to something like, you know, Yahoo or, um, Let's say, okay, Google. Okay, so this is the default search engine. Up here's the address bar. This is this is a legit address bar. Okay. So that's where you want to type in your email, uh, or not email address, the domain name, uh, this website you're going to. Down here is the search engine. Okay. So if I type in, that takes me back up here. If I type in Wells Fargo, well, wellsfargo.com as an example, it's going to come to the search window and it's going to say, okay, here's wellsfargo.com. And this is what a lot of people do. They don't actually type in the domain name. They type in the property that they're trying to go to and then they're getting this window and then they're clicking it. The danger in that is that if you're not careful, you might accidentally click on the wrong website. And if you're doing you know, if you're browsing, let's say a hundred websites a day, that's what uh, three thousand a month uh, that you're doing these searches. Chances are you're going to get uh, the wrong website, and you you could endanger yourself. Uh, although, you know, really the the way that you are going to get yourself in trouble is by actually calling that eight hundred number. Uh, so that's going to help you just by being aware of what the uh, websites are and what they look like and the scan that's going on that's going to help uh, avoid any problem but whenever possible go to the search bar up here and just type um, or, I'm sorry the address window up here and type in you know whichever website you want to go to ford.com or whatever and uh, you know be sure to add the .com and it's going to take you to the website so if I just do Ford let's say if I just do Ford, it's going to come up with a search window. Okay. All right. So that's about it. And just want to, you know, give you a heads up on how to avoid those pop up, uh, those fake anti or the fake tech support scams. And uh, that's going to go a long way to help you out. Uh, a, a couple other tips I almost forgot. I suggest opening oh, this or installing two. Uh, plugins. One's called Privacy Badger and one's called Adblock Plus. And I'll do another video, a quick video on how to install those. But those are, as you can see, these are blocking some of these websites. So I recommend installing those to help uh, further your protection. But thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.